Hi, this is Tamara from MooglyBlog.com, and I'm back with another edition of Yarn Love, where I work with yarn inspirations to show off one of their beautiful yarns. In this edition, we're taking a closer look at Bernat Baby Velvet. This is an incredibly soft yarn. It's um, sort of a chenille type yarn, and it is just one that honestly you have to feel to believe. It's incredibly soft and just luxurious and wonderful. It does have a couple tricks up its sleeve though, and I've got some good tips for working with it. So let's go ahead and get started taking a closer look at Bernat Baby Velvet. Now, the first thing you might notice about Bernat Baby Velvet after you pick it up, besides the gorgeous feel, is that it is a nice big ball. You can see here, it has 10 and a half ounces or 300 grams. That's 492 yards per ball, which is absolutely fantastic. Now it is 100% polyester, and according to the care instructions, you can go ahead and machine wash and dry this. I am going to disagree with the label a little bit here. I think with this yarn, um, with all the velvet type yarns, you're just going to have better results if you hand wash it. Machine washing can be really rough on certain yarns, and this yarn will do better if you hand wash it. Um, again, I know that's not what the label says, but it's my personal tip for using the velvet yarn. This particular velvet yarn is a four or medium weight also known as sort of worsted or Aran. And this is important too. The recommended needle size is 4.5 millimeters and the recommended hook size is five millimeters. And a lot of times personally, when I'm crocheting or designing, I like to go up a couple hook sizes from what's recommended on the label to get increased drape. Um, I think most of us who are aware, you know, familiar with both crochet and knitting know that it can be a little bit harder to get that drape with crochet and using a bigger hook and special stitches can really help with this. But with this particular yarn, I'm going to recommend that depending on your personal gauge, you stay at that hook size or go even smaller. Velvet yarn is best when it is worked tightly uh, with small stitches. You want a really solid fabric. And this goes back to that washing instructions. If you've got a very loose fabric made with this, the loops can start pulling up. It's just a really common problem um, with the chenille type yarns. It can be referred to sometimes as worming. Um, which is kind of gross, but that's what it's called when those loops pull up. So that's why I recommend a tight stitch and hand washing or even spot cleaning with this particular yarn. Now, this yarn does come in some really beautiful colors. It is baby velvet, which is the four. So there's some really lovely uh, pastels like you see here, but there are 18 colors total and it also includes indigo and emerald. Unfortunately, I don't have those to show you today, but there are some darker, more, you know, more sophisticated colors too. So just because it says baby doesn't mean you can't have more adult and things made out of this beautiful yarn. So let's go ahead and see how it works up. Okay, so here we have the small knitted swatch that I've worked up with Bernat Baby Velvet, about an inch of stockinette followed by about an inch of garter stitch. I found that it slid really well on my Knitter's Pride Interchangeables, which are metal. Um, it does have a little bit of traction. It's not super slick on the metal, but I think that will make it also a little bit easier for beginning knitters. Um, you won't have the hooks sliding off your needles too easily, which can also be an issue, of course, if you're just starting out. Um, I didn't find any splitting. Uh, when I worked with it, I didn't split the yarn at all. I think this yarn stays together very well, which is another reason it would be easier for beginners. And I do think it's a little easier on the knitting needles just because it's so easy to see each one of those loops. And when you're crocheting with it, can be it takes just a little bit more paying attention to find each one of those stitches. So let's go ahead and take a few stitches with it here. Now it is polyester. It doesn't really have any give. And if you pull too hard, you can sort of break it. So you do want to be sort of gentle with it as much as you do want to keep a good tension on there as well. Like I say, you don't want anything too loose because those loops can really work their ways up after you have finished making your item. And that is always a bummer to finish it and then have something terrible like that happen. So as you can see, it slides pretty easily, not really struggling at all, but it's also not just falling off my needles either, which is a good thing. I like that myself. You can sort of see the back of it here. It's just got a really great texture to it. This is the uh, needle size recommended on the label. And you can see, I really wouldn't wanna go any smaller because if I really try, I can sort of get my fingernail right through there. And anytime you can get into that fabric, it's gonna start pulling up the loops. So I would definitely stick to the needle size recommended on the label, if not smaller, if you tend to be a loose knitter. So now let's go ahead and look at the crochet swatch. Okay, now here is a crochet swatch that I've been working up again with the recommended size hook. And I made a couple rows here at the bottom of double crochet. You can see this is honestly a little bit taller than I would prefer. I actually have a pattern out now, I'll show you here in a minute, 
using the Bernat Baby Velvet. And I used nothing but single crochets and half double crochets with it, which I used up here as well at the top of my swatch. You can see it's just a lot closer and there's just not as many opportunities for these loops to get snagged and pulled. So let's go ahead and take a couple more stitches here. Again, this is a metal needle. This one is by Furls. And I didn't have any troubles with the crochet splitting or anything either. I'll go ahead and take a couple more stitches here. It worked up pretty darn quickly. Like I say, it's not super slick against the needle, but it's not, you know, there's not too much drag either. Let's see, and we can go ahead and pull that out. And it frogs pretty well, but you do want to be gentle with it. If you pull too hard on it, you can sort of break the thread that's in there holding it together. So as long as you're gentle with it and go stitch by stitch, frogging it shouldn't be a problem either. I haven't um, noticed any dye lot issues, but I have a relatively small collection of this one so far myself. So I do want to go ahead and point out that looks like there is a dye lot for this. So pay attention to that when you get this one. And one other thing I forgot to mention from the label before, it is tested for harmful, harmful substances. It doesn't have the Ocotec certification on the label, at least not on the balls I have, but on the website, it is Ocotec certified, safe from over 300 different chemicals. So you can feel really good about using this around your whole family. Now, here is the project that is already up on the blog. It's a little bit bigger than the camera right now. So let's go ahead and pull out. And there we go. It is a Christmas stocking. The pink portion here is made with the Bernat Baby Velvet and the furry portion is made with Red Heart Huga Fur. It's a really great combo. The super soft fur and the super soft velvet just create this really luxurious, really luxe and gorgeous uh, Christmas stocking. And while I chose to do it in sort of this soft orchid blush, blush pink, um, there's also, as you've seen, a beautiful blue if you have a little one that you're crocheting for this holiday. Or there's also, like I say, some more sophisticated colors, a really wide range of 18 colors to choose from. So you can customize it for your own family and even add some thread crochet letters from the Moogly Crochet Alphabet if you like. All right, so that is Bernat Baby Velvet. It is an absolutely gorgeous yarn that you really have to try for yourself. I have really enjoyed using it for both crochet and knitting. I think it is going to be a little bit easier for beginners to knit with rather than crochet, but a determined beginner, of course, could use it. You would just need to look a little bit closer to see those stitches. In terms of uses, um, I probably wouldn't make a garment out of it myself unless it was something that I could work up still really tightly. Um, I don't want to give a lot of drape to this yarn because it can snag relatively easily. So for me personally, for this velvet yarn, I like making household items such as this stocking where you can spot clean it and it's going to be treated just that little bit more gently um, and you don't have to worry about it warming or pulling up on you. It really is so luxurious though. It's worth a little bit of extra effort. So please go to the link in the description. There you'll find the link to the free velvet and fur Christmas stocking pattern, as well as Bernat baby velvet. You'll get to take a look at all those beautiful colors. Um, I will link the hook and needles that I have used here today. Everything you want to know about Bernat baby velvet is at the link in the description. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, everybody. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.